money we've allocated will probably go near it, but at least if we begin a process of looking at uh, our ideas or inventing ideas uh, and weighing them up with this sort of thought, uh, and then investing uh, in the years to come. Uh, I think it's potentially expensive. Yeah, I mean, it was just to say, not not part of, of uh, spending any of this money, but um, you know, Frank, Frank, you and I have been talking about how we might uh, perhaps, as a, an addition to this work, organise a sort of we call it you know, grand title kind of summit, um, but around around the whole needs agenda where we gather together some key, um, you know, people like, for example, some of our teachers. Will deal with um, groups of young people coming through the school system to better understand, as Stuart said, what, what makes somebody become me rather than wait till, till they're already in that um, in that category before we start to put interventions in. So, um, you know, I think that's a really good idea, and I think we're going to, we're going to try and organise something in the next uh, month um, to try and just get under the, under the skin of this issue a bit more depth. So that, that's. That's really in addition to this work that the Commission has done. Yeah, just, just agreeing with uh, some of the stuff that Bill's saying there, because there is a tremendous amount of work going on at the moment where we can evidence um, what's happening, um, particularly in the, the points that uh, Councillor Kelly said about the differences between the Middle West and, and our particular area. And we've got uh, tremendously more children on free school meals than what we have in the Middle West. And it's traditionally a national situation where children on free school meals, there's, there's, a, there's a gap appears in entertainment at a very, very early age. And um, the government and, and governments of the past have put interventions in place called the Pupil Premium, where each child has £900,000. It's £900,000. £900,000. It's £900,000. It's £900,000. Nine, £900 following that each particular uh, pupil who's on the scabby to do these good meals. So the actual um, school governors as well, which is a fantastic resource that we can use in the uh, summit that Phil's talking about. Uh, I'm, I'm sure the school governors in the audience, myself uh, included, we should be able to, to, to help in that situation. But, you know, we don't want to duplicate things because if that's already going on in the schools, Strategies are already being looked at or how the attainment gap can be closed. I know our own council, because I went to a, a training um, situation in Mosley, where our own council were actually delivering uh, what we've actually done, uh, working with some of the schools to close that attainment gap. And we've done some really innovative work, you know, we've got a council on identifying why that gap exists and how we can adjust attainment targets to help us close that gap, uh, and that reduces obviously people becoming uh, needs for all of the uh, safety net. So I think it's important not to duplicate things and to use the information that's already out there. So I think Phil's idea of getting together and sharing that expertise so as we can make it back to rather strange in a way. We haven't identified the actual amounts of young people which are actually in going into needs within the, within the four boroughs. And the, the moment we get that, then we can then identify the facts of the unemployment, okay. of the, of the unemployment rate amongst those children. 
going into custody. Then, actually, when they come out of it, which is actually into young adults, then, how many of them are unemployed? We've never ever tried to identify the regions within Wirral, out of Wirral, Liverpool, going out towards Chester, where work zones are. I think really this group here, this group of people here, you, you should really be trying to find the reason why these children and these young adults are not achieving, they're not creating work, are not going to work, and why they're not going to work. You've got somebody in New Ferry, a young man, a young woman, hey, there's a job, the job's been going, been recruiting in the distribution centre in, along the New Chester Road, or not Chester Road, the top Chester Road. How do you get there? You tell me how they get there. You can't get there. You cannot get there on the bus. You cannot get there if on the train. The problem is they have no cars. They can't afford to buy a car. Therefore, we should be looking not to look at the, the education, at the work which could be achieved, where we can send them to go to work. We need to be looking also at the transportation. How do you get them to these high spots? How do you get somebody from New Ferry over to New Brighton? Or when Phil and, the, and, the, and you get yourselves manage to get the development of the docks, how do you get them from there to the docks? You can't. Until we achieve that, we're just going to hot air it. Well, um,